Hello my dear family members, if you are preparing for Ascent chart and if you are looking for the previous year questions and the recent questions and if you want to give the mock test then this video is for you. Let me discuss about the very important thing that is about the mock test. So if you want to give the mock test right, so whenever I'll show you the question, you just start solving the problem and pause the video. When I'll solve the questions, then only cross verify if your answer is pi to pi matching or not. Okay. Now. Let me discuss about the previous year questions and recent questions which is being held by Mercer Metal. And just before that guys, if you have not subscribed this channel yet, then please make sure that you have subscribed this channel and liking this video and comment down which content you want more. If you want me to upload Accenture coding questions or nowadays Capgemini is also hiring, uh, Cognizant Infosys also hiring. So if you want me to upload those contents as well, then please comment down that you want interview questions technical questions or essay writing questions or anything you want okay now let me discuss the question hey you ready for the future tech no uf is here with premium prep materials no need to fear cognizant accenture tcs and more we'll get you ready open up that door so let me go through the sample input and sample output so that you can guess the exam like coding requirement okay so first input that is you can see the an array okay i hope this is visible an array of integers 12 24 35 and 9 uh, like input 2 is 8 input 3 is 3 input 4 is 4 0 and input 5 is 4 so output is 1 why because let me explain that that is you have to multiply at first you have to multiply input 2 and input 3 then add the input 4 okay then whatever the sum is being if that is equal to any of the element inside the array then print the index of the same okay print the index of the same and the input 4 that like input 5 is just the length of that array okay so here in the first case as you can see 8 multiply 3 that is 24 plus 0 that, that is 24 and 24 is present in the first index so that's why output is 1 okay so let me go to the next question like next example that is 26 32 41 36 okay so as you can see you have to multiply second input and third input so 5 into 5 that is 25 plus input 4 that is 26 and it is present at the zeroth index okay zeroth index so that's why output is zero okay so i hope you understood what's the task is so if you understood then just start solving the problem by yourself if you can't then only watch till the end okay otherwise this will not be helpful if you just watch and like gone okay okay so without any bug bugs so let me go to the solution part so before that we just have to announce that we have our prime materials of Accenture, Cognizant, Infosys, Capgemini, Tech Mahindra, Wipro and uh, many other companies. So if you want, then just damn me at my Insta handle like Instagram.com slash tf or you can just pay 79 rupees for the same at our UFIIT given in the description box and send the screenshot of the same at our Insta handle. Okay, so I'll send you the materials. Okay, so let me go to the solution part. Before I show you the solution, I want you to have the best prime materials for Accenture in which you will get all the cognitive assessment questions that is the gaming based questions which you can play live in the system which is included in our prime materials and also you can have all the latest and previous year technical questions from Civito code cloud and networking ms office skills back-end coding questions front-end coding questions sql questions communication assessment help and also interview experiences are included so i am assuring you you will get the job at your doorstep right so please go through that link top main slash technology it will be very much helpful for you thousands or more than 2000 people have brought these materials and successfully cleared the exam so please go through that it will be very much helpful for you you can go through the feedback of students provided below it will give uh, it will get updated and it will be unlimited uh, access so please have that and grab the opportunity so i hope you will do so so at first i'll show you the solution of java in java then i'll show you the solution in python as well okay so just to wait so at first uh, what we have done that is we have taken 
like we have at first initialized the scanner class okay so that we can take the input but you don't have to do this in real time exam because they will maintain this all the main function okay they will maintain that okay so then we ha we have taken the length of the array then we are initializing the array with the same length okay then we are taking uh, all array elements as like th th these are not user in like a uh, hard coded these are user input okay so then we are taking all the four inputs uh like by which we can achieve any of the element inside this okay so first input second input third input and fourth input so what our solution approach will be that is we will multiply d into q and plus r then after that we will find if this uh, value d into q plus r is present inside this array or not if yes then print the index if not then print minus one okay so then we're just printing whatever the value is returned by this function that is find index okay and this is taking five arguments one that is a this is the array length then these are the elements okay so sorry a is the array okay and b q r n are the integers these okay so let me go to the function so that there will be no confusion so like as as you can see this is starting method so that we don't have to initialize the same okay and we have imported the scanner class as well so that we can access that okay okay so as you can find the name of the function and all the arguments are taken as mentioned in the main function and then we are just going through all the elements all the elements of that array in the same time we are checking if that current element of that array is equal to d into q plus r into n or not okay d into q plus r into n or not okay so if yes if yes then return i that means the index if not then return minus one okay so i hope you understood so let me go to the sorry i think uh, uh yeah i think uh, the n should not be here the n should not be here uh, like at first the let, let me just go through the question that was yes 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 yeah so the n should not be there the n should not be here we just have to multiply the first uh, second input and third input plus the fourth input the fifth input should not be included the fifth input is the length of that array okay so uh, let me just print it and let's see if this is producing right output or not so the first uh, input is the length of that array so that is 4 and 12 35 yeah okay let me go to the second let me go through the second example that is 26 32 26 32 41 and anything okay then the four integer those are like uh, yeah let me just check that what are those five five okay five five one i hope this is visible then let's say zero okay so the output should be like five into five that is sorry five into five that is 25 plus one that is 26 okay so the output should be zero as you can see the output is zero okay so let me show you the first sample input that was eight sorry that was uh the length is four so 12 24 35 9 okay so yeah 4 12 24 35 mm, yeah anything so then 8 3 1 sorry uh, 0 then let's say anything so output should be 8 into 3 plus this so 24 is present at the first index so it will be 1 okay 
so as you can see one is the output okay so i hope there should not be any problem uh, to understand this if still you have any problem then just let me know at the comment section and like one thing please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want it will be helpful for you only okay so let me show you the python solution so the answer and the approach all of the approaches are same so you can just see just you don't have to worry about the main function okay worry about this because main function will be written for you okay so at first we are writing the length of that array we are taking the user input from user that is length of that array or list then we are taking all the list i mean array element in a single line okay space separated single line then we are taking all the arrays i mean the inputs in a single line space separated okay then we are printing whatever the value returned by this function okay so the function is doing the same as in the java so at first we are running the for loop uh, to get all the access to go through all the element of that array a or list a then we are checking if a of i that means current element of that array is equal to d into q plus r or not if yes then d into q plus r means the second input third input multiply then plus the fourth input i mean the yes fourth input so if it is equal to this then return i that means the current index if not then return minus one so nothing else the there is no rocket science so i hope you understood okay so as you have done so 4 is the length of that array then uh, 12 24 then sorry actually the space separated now so 4 12 24 then anything then anything so just remember 24 is at the first index so then 4 integer in a space separated line single line so 8 3 0 and 1 so output should be 1 as you can see as expected so i hope uh, like you understood all of the stuff i have shared here so if you love this video then just like this so that i'll be motivated to make more content regarding essential regarding all of your placement regarding stuffs okay so i hope for this much of discussion is enough for today's session so thank you for today's session Please subscribe to TechnoUF and don't forget to like and share with your friends.